practicing addition, lesson 5.9. When we add two-digit numbers as an addition sentence, we can rewrite the problem so the numbers are stacked. We rewrite the problem with one number on top of the other. Just make sure to line the place values up correctly. If we have an addition sentence 23 plus 14, we can rewrite it so that the numbers are on top of each other. See, the 23 is on top of the 14. But we have to make sure the 1's place and the 10's place are lined up nice and neat. You don't want to make a mistake and have three 1's and four 1's and then line the 1's up with the 10. See, then you're going to get a wrong answer. Just make sure they're lined up nice and pretty, okay? So keep practicing adding your two-digit numbers, and we're going to do a few here. We have an addition sentence of 68 plus 22. We can rewrite it stacked. We write the six tens here and the eight ones here. And we write the two tens for the 22 here and the two ones here. We start counting with the eight and count on eight, nine, ten. We get one ten and zero ones. We add the tens place, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we get 90. And sometimes it's just easier to add it when it's stacked compared to when it's written like an addition sentence. See that? Because then we can just go straight down the ones and straight down the tens. Let's try it again. Let's do it without the box. We have 55 plus 44 as an addition sentence. We're going to stack them. We're going to stack the ones and we're going to stack the tens. 5 plus 4, we start with the larger number and count on. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we just did 5 plus 4 is 9. So we can do it again here for the tens, can't we? We don't have to count our fingers again. We just did 5 plus 4. So 55 plus 44 is 99. And we stacked the numbers. See? Let's try it again. We have 56 plus 37 as an addition sentence. We can stack the 56 on top of the 37. We line the 1's place up with the 10's place. We start with the larger number 7 and count on for the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup the 1, put the 3 down here. We add the 10's place, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 93. See? Let's try it again. Now we have 73 plus 9. Now this 9 is just 9 ones. There's no tens here, is there? So we have to make sure that we put those 9 ones in the ones place. Now we have 73 plus 9, and they're in the right place. See? We start with the 9 and count up the 3. 9, 10, 11, 12. We regroup the 1 up here and put the 2 down here. Now we add the tens place, and we have an 8. So the most important thing you have to remember is to line your ones up correctly and line your tens up correctly, okay? So let's try an estimation problem here. Look at this little box right here, this rectangle. This is 10 units. See that? There's 10 units in here. Now this one is blank. Well, Bob thinks there's about 70 units in the larger orange square. Dave thinks there's about 30 units. Who do you think is right? If that's 10, how many do you think are in here? Can you look at them and, and make an estimate, make a, an educated guess how many you think are in here? About 10, 20, 30? So I think Dave is right. If there were 70, we'd need seven of these, wouldn't we? Yeah, that would be too many. So I think Dave is right. And if you said Dave, then you would be right, because there would be about 30. Let's take a look. If that's 10, we can compare it right next to it, can't we? Look, that would be about 10. See, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, there's about 30 there, see? So that's estimation. It's not an exact amount, 
but it's an educated guess and gets us close to what it really is, okay? So practice doing some two-digit addition. Try doing it without the boxes. And try rewriting an addition sentence stacked. And make sure you get your columns of your ones and tens lined up correctly, all right? If you're following along in the book, there's lots of practice on this page, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.